Even if you've just recently bought the monitor of your dreams, one thing you may not have put a lot of thought into is your monitor stand. And who can blame you, right? It, it's just something that holds up the screen. But then you set it up and you realize that the one that came with your monitor barely allows you to adjust the position and you're, you're left having to hunch down like Quasimodo just to see properly. Or you prop your monitor up on top of a stack of fitness books that you've never gotten around to reading because you're still training through your Steam library. So this is where an aftermarket monitor stand is gonna come in handy. But these run the gamut from around $30 to a thousand if you wanna buy that contraption that Apple's trying to sell. So what should you look out for when buying a monitor stand? And why in the world does Apple think it can charge more than an iPhone for one? Well, before you even start looking for a monitor stand, you'll wanna make sure that the monitor itself has something called a vase mount, as this will make your life much easier. This is a standard pattern of mounting holes that are incorporated directly into the monitor's frame that will ensure that your display is compatible with the vast majority of stands on the market. It's not uncommon though for monitors, especially cheaper ones, to come without a vase mount. So definitely verify this before doing anything else. Your next step should be to think about what you need out of a monitor stand. Do you need just something that's sturdier than the flimsy piece of plastic that came in the monitor box? If so, you can probably get away with a cheap freestanding stand. Many of these will not only give your monitor plenty of support, but will let you adjust the height, the viewing angle, and even let you orient the monitor in portrait mode if you need to view lots of vertically organized information at once, like a, like a group chat. <laughs> really important group chat. But let's say that you're also concerned about saving space. Maybe you have a small desk or, or a multi-monitor setup and you just can't have one or more freestanding solutions hogging all your real estate. In this case, you have a few alternatives. One is to get a wall mount which can either attach to your wall and leave your monitor locked in one position or allow your screen to protrude off of an arm and be adjusted as you see fit. Of course, the downside is that you'll need to drill holes into your wall and depending on where you mount your screen, you don't wanna have a super heavy monitor ripping hole in the sheetrock that you'll have to explain to your landlord. But the upside is that you won't take up any desk space whatsoever. But if you don't wanna mess around with installing a mount on your wall, you can go with a clamp style monitor stand that attaches to the side of your desk, minimizing your display's footprint. There are also clamps that go through your desk for added stability, though you'll either need to have a hole already built into your desk or of course, bust out the power drill and make one yourself. But the nice thing about these clamp mounts, other than stability and making your workspace look like your monitors are being held up by cybernetic robot arms, is that many of them are built to hold more than one display at a time. So instead of having half your desk taken up by large monitor bases, you can fit three screens and take up about the same amount of space as a coffee mug. Whatever option you go with, be sure to check out how much weight each stand is rated for and exactly how you'll be able to adjust your displays. But hold on a minute, because even some of the nicest triple monitor clamp mounts on Amazon can be had for around 100 to 150 bucks. So why in the world is Apple charging $1,000 for a simple freestanding mount with fairly standard tilt and rotation features? Well, there's actually nothing special about it. <laughs> Seeing as it's being paired with a $5,000 monitor, Apple may have thought another grand for a stand would be small potatoes for the folks in the market for a display like that. But regardless of whether this is an Apple ploy to create another over-engineered, pricey to repair product, or just them thinking their design is actually worth that much, our recommendation would be to just go with the oh, also overpriced $200 vase amount, or maybe just lean it against something with some Velcro. <laughs> Speaking of beautiful things that are worth it, <laughs> you can create a beautiful website with Squarespace and they're all in one platform. Their award-winning templates make creating a powerful online identity even easier than ever. Each template is a starting point for a wide range of projects. Squarespace provides award-winning 24-7 customer support via live chat and email. You can also attend a live webinar to check out their help guides. And now you can transfer your third-party domains to Squarespace. So instead of working with multiple vendors to maintain your online presence, you can manage all of your domain and billing settings with Squarespace. It's never been easier to sell products or services online because Squarespace allows you to easily manage your products, orders, and inventory. So head to squarespace.com forward slash techwiki and use code techwiki for 10% off your first purchase. So thanks for watching guys. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit us up in the comments with suggestions that you might have for future videos.